ladies and gentlemen, this video is scheduled for one look, introducing to you today, your host for Wrestling With Beauty, the broke beauty guru, and the new voice of FWA, the ring queen, Lexa Rose! everybody for 600 subscribers you guys are the real MVPs I'm kind of overwhelmed about it um, because I really wanted a lot of subscribers on my YouTube um, but they all ended up on my TikTok and then I lost them and now I'm trying to get them back again it's complicated Pero entonces, um, I wanted to show you guys a look that I wanted to do that I was obsessed with when I saw extreme rules or as I like to call it awkward rules um, I will also be going over my thoughts about Extreme Rules as well because I feel like it's important to talk about. It's all set. Let's go. Um, I want to go with this look that Liv Morgan wore. I don't know if you could see it, but if you look closely, she's got this really pretty green look going on. Her gear was super amazing. Kind of reminded me of my uh, trip jeans that I have hiding in my closet, but I'm obsessed with them. So she looked so freaking cute um she tore it down i really freaking loved her match with carmella um that was probably one of the only matches that weren't awkward um but carmella's also freaking amazing in the ring too um i like back when she had her whole staten island princess gimmick it was my favorite because you know i was a you know harlem princess you know we were kind of the same we're new yorkers new york but um, I really want to recreate this look. It's so freaking pretty. So I've got um, two palettes that I'm going to be working with. Obviously, my ColourPop Mandalorian um, Grogu palette. Because now we can't call it the child. He's got a name. And I'm also going to go in with my Indie Beat Bombshells. Uh, these both have really pretty intense greens. This one has, as you can tell... A more lighter green uh, more brighter green um, than this one so we're gonna be just using this dark green right here for some of it to kind of give it some definition I want to add a little twist to it of my own I don't have sparkles like she's wearing in the video but the bombshells palette has this really pretty gl green star glitter so I'm going to be taking the stars individually and placing them on my face so um, we hope to do Miss Morgan some justice. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. We are going to prep the face like all get out because I'm obviously going to be using my Indie Beat Bombastic Longwear Foundation in shade 5. As you can tell, I'm obsessed with Indie Beats Cosmetics. Um, they just came out with their face base line just in time for Halloween. Feel free to use my code. And save 10% off your order. Um, but... Let's get started. I am going to prep my face with my Violation Hibiscus Unstoppable Correcting Oil, my Tried and True Clean Skin Vitamin C Brightening Booster, and this new stuff that I got from my BoxyCharm, Clara's New York Vitamin E Retinol Serum. So we're going to just start with the serum first um, so that it can absorb all the retinol in the skin. Eh. This will make my face a lot more moisturized when I take on all the product. Although, although the foundation is not uh, drawing, which I love. So. Okay, so now the face is prepped, we are going to kind of color correct it a little bit. We've got our damp beauty sponge, and we're going to go in with this Meng Zealand uh, makeup base. I got this from Wish, and believe it or not, this stuff is amazing. It's really great color corrector. So, um, I know you guys are probably like, you're fucking mirror Alexa. I know, I know, but 
Bro Beauty Guru here. Um, and they kind of came free with the mystery boxes I got back when I was supporting them, so it is what it is. is prepped and primed we are gonna go right into our indie beats boombastic longwear foundation and we're just gonna put that all over the face i usually do this before the brows because i'm a clumsy ass oaf and i end up yeah i tag my eyebrows unintentionally so mamma mia face laid down we're just gonna go into our Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in medium brown and we are going to fix the bros <laughs> okay so we're gonna add our highlights and clean our brow with our elf 16 hour camo concealer matte finish uh we're going to be putting some of this on the obviously the eyelid and just to kind of give at least the upper brow line some sort of um space because we're going to be putting this p louise base all the way up like pew. <laughs> going in with our beauty bakery flower setting powder in white cuz period obvious reasons for science uh but i'm going to just tap it on the brush and set everything <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to contour and we're going to go right into our Taylor Beauty um, Cold Brew Palette and we're just going to hit up Nitro on an angled brush and pop that in. Okay, so now for the blush we're going to just go into our Pop of Girls Fighting Crime Pressed Powder Blush from ColourPop. And we're just going to grab our fluffy brush and just throw on some blush. <laughs> Bars. Okay, time for the fun part, the base for the eyeshadow. So we're just going to take our P. Louise base, and this one is in, what is it, what color? Green with Envy, and we're just going to put that all over the lid and then drag it all the way out to the temples. Ah! 
wish me luck fam wish me luck make sure you fix the creases on your eyelid before like putting eyeshadow on or anything like that because y you don't want creases it'll ruin the whole look okay so now that we've got the green on we're just gonna go right into our bombshells palette and we're gonna hit up bills 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 and we're gonna just use that to set all of this in place <laughs> Okay, so for the bottom lash line, I used baby face and just kind of plopped it right here. Uh, we don't want anything too crazy because the focus is obviously the top part. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of blend this part a little bit and we're going to go a little bit into this color called Precious Cargo and we're going to put that on the brow bone and also in the inner corners. Okay, so I went back to look at the picture of Liv for reference. This is the picture. Um, and I noticed that the green kind of comes a little bit down further, so I just added some more primer base and then just filled it in with, obviously, Bills, Bills, Bills from the Bombshells palette. So... Um, I noticed, um, I'm looking a little bit that she has a bit of a smoky eye look. Um, so I'm just going to go right into our ColourPop Grogu palette. And we're going to just go right into this color called Droid Protocol. And we're just going to lightly throw that under the l bottom lash line. And a little bit up top to kind of give it a little wing. <laughs> Most of it's kind of done um we're just gonna go right into our bombshells palette and we're gonna hit up get over yourself which is this really nice chartreuse bright lemony yellowish color and we're just gonna kind of blend out the green all around okay so i don't have rhinestones or crystals so i'm just gonna go in with free your mind which is the glittery star color and we're just gonna pop a few of the stars along the cheekbone here pretty and as you can tell I have one right here so we're just gonna kind of pop these stars wherever they decide they want to land on because there we go um, I know she's got way more crystals on her face than I got glitter so let's just make do Sorry, I don't have rhinestones. I, I just, I don't. This is why I'm called the broke beauty guru. I'm not the rich beauty guru, because if I was... He needs no. some milk! Y'all probably know who I am. Ah. Don't forget to subscribe. Entonces, uh, I'm going to hit up this pigment that I was given. Uh, this came with, I believe, my Star Jump Cosmetics uh, thing. And it's a really pretty shimmer, so we're just going to put a little bit on a brush. Um, tap off the excess. Let me just see how it looks again. Yeah. Um, we're just going to kind of throw this on the lid real quick. Just to give it a little shimmer. Nothing more. start putting on the highlighter I'm just using this liquid frost just to kind of give it a base and then we're just gonna kind of blend everything out with a different highlighter okay time for our setting spray I'm gonna be using the diamond set setting spray from star gem cosmetics and then we're going to go right into this palette and we're going to just kind of go in with our beauty blender for alien ice 
because it's green. Okay, so because I noticed there's a little green in the waterline, I'm just going to go in with my ColourPop color stick. Um, and we're going to just put this in the waterline. Okay, so this is the final look. I decided to throw on my blonde wig that I felt was about as close to Liv's hair color as I possibly could. Um, this one is, I believe, called the uh, Kayla. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this is the Kayla Pony from Insert Name Here. I love their brand. I love their wigs. Um, I do have, actually, I have the Shayla Pony, um, in my closet. I was going to wear that one, but I decided against it because I wanted to try and look as Liv Morgan as possible. But this is the final look. Uh, the glitter placement came out pretty nice. Um, still a little worried about it. Uh, but otherwise, I'm very happy with it. Sorry. My, my eyes like to water the moment I have a full face on. Y'all know the struggle. Um, so, I'm trying very hard to blot it without ruining the makeup. Um, wearing contacts doesn't help either, but, you know, it is what it is. But, um, I just took the wig and I put it in a cute little messy braid. Um, but, of course, this is the final look. Very happy with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to, um, hit the like button, subscribe, share with your friends. Um... And don't forget to pick up my very first novel, The Pure Blood Eternal, written by Yasmin Crowley on Amazon Books. And also my Wattpad for my newest story, The Last Vindian Warrior. I will see you on my next video. I am your host for Wrestling with Beauty, the broke beauty guru, the ring queen Lexa Rose, the new voice of SWA saying, keep it Gucci Gucci bitches.